when you have an award-winning cafe floating in the middle of an estuary, the last thing you want to lose is the electricity. The generator is completely packed up beyond repair and we've had to unfortunately cut service there. So it never happens again. Paul is having solar and battery backup installed and we went along to find out more. Here at the mouth of the River X in Devon, England, floats a rather intriguing structure and on board some hungry mouths to feed. The River X Cafe is one of Devon's best kept fine dining secrets and they need a lot of power to do it. Today they are switching from a costly, noisy and polluting generator that runs 24-7 to a Victron Energy solar and lithium battery system. Customers are ferried to and from the restaurant via water taxis. Owner Paul is an experienced sailor himself. I'm a keen boating enthusiast, love the river, love the River X here and the, the natural environment we're in. And uh, I was keen on wakeboarding, so we'd go out wakeboarding in the morning, go and have a nice ski, and we'd always head back to land to then go and have a bite to eat, have a coffee, recharge our batteries a bit, and then very rarely come back out in the afternoon. So it was one of those concepts I thought, oh, I wonder if we can have somewhere we can come and sit, get a bit of pasta, a burger or some mussels. It would then just keep us going for the rest of the day and let us play on the water. Now in its 12th year of trading, the cafe has been a huge success locally with waiting lists in multiple weeks and diners coming from far afield to sample the locally sourced seafood and produce. But the unique location has brought its own unique challenges. The cafe, obviously the structure that we're on, um, is uh, two steel barges welded together in a catamaran sitting within the middle of the River X. And we can only get to the cafe here by boat. And we are completely disconnected from mains utilities, whether that be electric, water, gas, everything is brought up or produced here on the cafe. It's one of those things when you take a restaurant on land, everything that you take for granted there, you turn the tap, it goes down the drain, all of those things disappear when you come out here onto the river. Since opening in 2011, Paul and his staff have relied on a very thirsty and temperamental diesel generator. It powers everything on board, including all the electrical kitchen appliances and even overnight when it's just the refrigerators. It's a 21 kVA single phase setup and it needs to be replaced every three years, so not a very cost efficient, green or indeed stable situation moving forward. Power outage here is a, is a big issue because obviously then we've got fridges going off, freezers going off these things which I've got a lot of high value of stock in, that's where the pressure really kicks in because I cannot leave the cafe environment very far at all because I'm a marine engineer by trade. So therefore that downtime is absolutely vital that it's kept to a bare minimum, not to interfere with customers um, and the experience that they're, we're trying to provide for them. We've had the generator where we've come in in the morning and we've had to write off all the stock in the fridges and freezers, uh, massive amounts of money then lost. And we've also had it in the middle of service where the generator is completely packed up beyond repair uh, and we've had to unfortunately cut service there and send everybody home. So Paul has turned his attention to an off-grid solution and Victron Energy in particular. Victron to me is a product I've known. Again, going back to being marine engineering, I used to look after a fleet of trawlers, uh, all of that fitted with Victron equipment. Uh, I've also experienced it myself on my own boats and the Victron choice to me was that reliability. That is what was key and that's what's always been proven to me in the past not to let me down. With Victron Energy selected as the best system to power the business moving forward, Paul then enlisted the help of Exeter University to research and help plan the ambitious project towards sustainable energy. The Centre for Future Clean Mobility here partner with businesses to develop net zero strategies. 
So Paul was basically looking to improve his cafe um, and the local area by in, in a number of ways, mainly through decarbonisation of his cafe, but also he was looking to sort of improve the atmosphere of the cafe. Descaling the generator would reduce the sound because he was saying how about how he could, hear, he could hear the generator on the cafe from his house. And by reducing that noise and reducing the, the carbon footprint of his cafe, it brings a different element to it, which it didn't have before. The research was funded by a grant from the European Regional Development Fund that enabled Jack to spend time on creating a model of the cafe's actual and projected energy use based on readings of cycles taken on board. So when I went to the cafe, it was on the beach in Exmouth, it wasn't out in the middle of the water like it usually is. And we went there and I, it was a bit of a construction site, but sort of walked around there with Paul and we pointed out and listed things and took measurements of things to see, um, to try and build a picture of like how, how much power the cafe would take throughout the day and try and build an approximation of that. I drew up a, a, a tool for him in which he could model the cafe and play around with the variables. And then obviously you've got the, the things that run throughout the night, so like fridges and freezers to keep the food chilled. For the, uh, for the other stuff that comes on, like coffee machines in the mornings. Those coffees in the mornings will really <laughs> ramp up that power. So it is sort of an approximation for that. We're able to sort of change the scale of this graph that I created so we can be confident that it's accurate. As a business, we are really only a small operating uh, enterprise and it was a big jump for us. So having that backup from the university to say that if we install this kit, this is what we're going to achieve. I've just double checked myself because having the business survive, it's not just about you know, me as an owner, we've got a lot of people here, there's 50 staff that we, that we have. Jack's research wasn't just restricted to power ratings and readings of appliances aboard the cafe, he also took a wider view of factors at play. We looked at a number of variables from solar data around the, around the southwest for a number of months, but looking more focused on the hour by hour fluctuation. Once the data from Jack had been analysed, interpreted and discussed with Paul, it was then time to bring in the third key member of the project. Stephen Frost from Calidus, based in Devon, is a distributor and installer of Victron Energy products. They offer advice, support and installation of on and off grid systems across the UK and internationally. So I was uh, actually a patron of the restaurant uh, because I'm a boater and uh, I used to come round from Torquay to Exmouth on my boat and use the restaurant for food and some drinks. Um, and noticed that they had a, a diesel generator on site. Um, and after a period of a couple of years, got to know Paul as the owner and we've been talking uh, about what we can do to uh, make his life easier effectively. He has to use a diesel generator that comes with servicing. Anything that moves can break uh, and he is constantly on call to make sure that that diesel generator is producing power 24 hours a day so that his um, restaurant remains operational. The newly installed system has a 15 kVA Multi Plus 2 and 32 kilowatt hours of Victron Energy Lithium Smart Batteries. The idea is for power to be provided by the batteries and inverter to reduce the carbon load and the load on the generator 24 hours a day. So the system itself has been designed to sort of take up some of the um, standby loads at the moment with some of the peak loads included and what we hope to do over the next sort of 12 to 24 months is uh, look at how we can reduce the load on the cafe using the existing appliances and then build the system to work with that appropriately 24 hours a day. The system is fed by 6 kilowatts of PV solar array on the roof and has already proved itself to be a powerful and robust system and one which Paul is happy to have front and centre in the restaurant for guests to see. It's a product I think is important to show. This is, this is how we are providing the food that's in front of people. This is how we're operating. This is how we're functioning. So typically on a normal installation or normal job that we would build, we would build it all in our own facility, making sure that the pre-built board was all commissioned and set up ready to go. On the River X Cafe, that wasn't completely um, possible because there were some unique parts or 
um, isolation that we need to put it on different parts of the cafe so that customers couldn't actually reach that. It's very confined on the cafe and there wasn't much space to put any equipment. Uh, so where we had to put it was actually in a public area and making sure that that was safe and wouldn't be messed around with or isolators turned accidentally and kill the power during the service was uh, one of our top priorities. So slightly different to what we do normally, but this case has uh, worked quite well. So the installation uh, has been quite a uh, quite a feat, really. Everybody involved from you know, the River X Cafe and Calidus have had to work to a very tight time schedule to ensure that everything is pulled together um, to deliver by Wednesday morning, so when they open back up. So we started on the Monday and uh, we finished on the Tuesday evening, ready for Wednesday morning opening. So we've installed a 15,000 uh, Multi Plus 2 Victron with a 250-100 MPPT. We have a Serbo uh, on there with a Touch 70. The Touch 70 is nicer screen because it's slightly bigger and a little bit more visual for the, um, the employees and the customers. We also have a Lynx distributor on there with a Lynx BMS. The batteries are under the floor. Um, spaces are premium on the River X Cafe and effectively we put them out there so they're not in the way of the customers or in the way operationally. Um, they have isolators and fuses in place to make sure that they're protected. Um, we also then have the BMS in place to ensure that uh, any issues are picked up by that. The journey towards an off-grid business model has been both long and fraught for Paul, but the benefits of making this huge step change is now clear for all to see. Taking risks, absolutely, that's how the cafe's here. The whole thing has been a risk really year on year. Uh, it's a risk with the weather, it's a risk with our power production. Uh, there's, there's lots and lots of risk involved with running this business. Um, and this was a big step for us to do, um, but clearly as soon as the systems turned on, I, I felt a big weight off my shoulders. I think the savings that Paul will see on the hours that his uh, cafe isn't trading, i.e. under standby hours for his fridges, freezers will be big. And then longer term, what we want to do is take over the entire load of the cafe more and more, um, making sure that it's a stable supply so that will then reduce his diesel bill even further. And on top of that, it's, uh, it's servicing as well. Paul's got all the kit in, installed now. He's gonna, be, he's gonna be loving it. He's gonna be saving money, doing better for the environment. It's gonna bring a load of business and uh, tourism in for him. I've re really enjoyed the geeky side of it because of the information that I'm getting the feedback, I'm knowing what's going on, I'm not worrying. I've also, another function which was completely underrated by, by myself, I will say, was that the, the additional extras of having fridge temperatures on there, alarms, water tank level sensors, all of these things that it's just life changing for me as, a, as an owner operator to just sit back and go, everything's okay from a distance. Yeah. Since making this film, the River X Cafe has received a Maritime Business Technology Centre Award for the carbon emission savings impact on Devon. And it's all due to the Victron Energy installation. Now Paul has the flexibility to run the generator whenever he wants. If he's getting enough solar and if there's enough energy stored in the batteries, the Victron Energy setup he's now installed will allow him to vary it throughout the day and play with it as he pleases. Ensuring this award-winning restaurant can keep delighting diners for years to come. There is a list of all the items used and the companies involved in this install in the description below. If you have any questions, leave a comment as Calidus will be replying to them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, it doesn't cost anything. Until next time, thanks for watching.